Hello, this is Mr. Esterbrooks. Uh, in this lesson, you're going to go through a few drawings and identify uh, the tolerances from the uh, from the dimensions. So here's the first part, and I'm going to walk you through the, the process. Um, basically, what you're going to do is take, uh, take a look at this drawing and fill in the table uh, with the um, appropriate information. So you have a table something like this and you're going to put some letters A, B, C, D, E, etc. for each of the parts shown. So here's the adjustable rocker arm. I just wanted to show you, show it to you this way uh, so we can mark it up and it's a little bit easier to read. So the first thing uh, you should remember is there are three types, or actually technically four ways to show a tolerance. The first three are um, basically with the uh, right in the dimension. And then the fourth one is uh, the general tolerance, tolerances are shown in a note down below. So um, let's, let's talk about uh, what that looks like then. So first of all, um, you should notice that if you followed along the previous lesson, uh, limit dimensions you should notice We've got limit dimensions there, and we've got limit dimensions there, and we've got limit dimensions there, um, and I, that's the only place I see them now. So we could start, you can start anywhere, but this is sort of just an example of how they want you to do this. You're going to write a letter A next to each one of those, A. A. And um, because you'll notice that they all have the same tolerance, hopefully, if you look carefully. And um, if you can't tell that, well, I'm going to walk you through the process. So uh, the upper limit in this dimension here is 0.536. The lower uh, limit is 0.531. So um, first of all, we identify that as a limit dimension limit and the tolerance for each of those three is 0 0.05 and um, the explanation is uh, upper limit minus lower limit that's basically the uh, limit yes limit that's basically the explanation of how we arrive at the tolerance for uh, a limit dimension Okay, so let's go back over there. And here, where are we? There we go. And now if we take a look at each of those three, you'll see the upper limit, 0.755, minus the lower limit gives you 0 0.005. The upper limit, 0.955, minus the lower minute, point limit, sorry, the lower limit, 0 0.590 gives you, again, 0 0.005. So all three of those dimensions are limit dimensions and have the same tolerance. So then um, we could group those and put them on, under the same letter A, for example, okay? Let me get rid of that extraneous quote. Now, um, there are a number of different ways of showing tolerance in here. And hopefully you'll, you've figured out how the general tolerances work um, if not, let me just remind you, right here, if there are two digits shown after the decimal, it means the, uh, the uh, tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.003, right? So two digits, plus or minus 0 0.003. Three digits, plus or minus 0 0.010. Now that, that only applies if there isn't another tolerance shown in the dimension. If you look around, you'll notice um, none of these dimensions have a tolerance in the dimension. They don't have limit dimensions, they don't have bi bilateral tolerance, and they don't have unilateral tolerance. So basically for all the rest of these, the general uh, tolerances apply. That means for the next grouping, you can look at uh, any dimension with two digits to the right of the decimal, so that would be this one, this one, 
this one. This is a reference dimension, so that's a special one. I'm just going to make a note of that. Reference dimension. I'm not sure if you guys remember that from uh, Activity 7.1. And here's another two, two digits to the right of the decimal. Here's another. Here's another. And there's one more right there. And oh, and the radius too. So because those all have two digits to the right of the decimal and they don't use any of the other three, limit, bilateral, or unilateral, these are all going to be uh, general tolerances with uh, plus or minus 0.03 applied. So you can label each of those B, 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 B. Whoops, that looks like a D. Let's make that a B. B, and so on. And you're going to go through and label all those. Um, you're going to have to figure out, I'm, I'm using Google Drawings for this. You're going to have to figure out how to do this. Um, Google Drawings is a little awkward and you need a way to write on them, but uh, I'll leave that guy to you guys. Um, mostly I want to see that uh, you're able to identify these tolerances. So let's go back to the table. Now under B, what type? Well, those are general. And the tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.03. So plus 3 and uh, 0 0.03 and minus 0 0.03. Let's just go back and look at that to make sure that's correct. Plus 0 0.03, right? So like, think about your timeline, or your uh, x-axis, right? If this is 0 0.03 on the x-axis, and this is negative 0.03, 0, 0.03. What's the total distance between those? That would be 0 0.06. So that's the tolerance that would apply. 0 0.06. And you would say uh, plus or minus minus, yes, minus 0 0.03. Um, something like that, some kind of explanation. So this is uh, basically the idea of what I want you to go through. Um, now, it's going to get a little tricky because um, you're going to have to do a whole bunch of these. And uh, you just all I can say is do the best you can. Um, I will post a, um, a template for each part. So this part here is, uh, this is the adjustable rocker arm. What I'll do is um, I'll post the, uh, the template of the chart for each part, and then you're going to have to go through each, uh, each part, look at all the dimensions, and uh, mark it up and label them with those letters. Um, and that's the part that you're going to have to figure out how to do. So there are a couple of issues with this, uh, with this part, um, with this drawing. First of all, We've got two general uh, dimensions tolerances here. But you may have noticed we have this dimension here that has three digit, uh, sorry, four digits after the decimal place. And this dimension here that has no digits. It just says one. Um, same thing here. Right? No digits to the right of the decimal. So, um, in fact, there is no way to determine the um, tolerance for those dimensions. And um, that's probably, I'm, I'm guessing, because this general tolerances thing got cut off. Um, and there was probably a couple more down below that. So. This is what you need to do again. Um, go through your table. I don't know how many there are here. There's uh, two digits, three digits. Looks like there's only going to be, you may only need, uh, let's go back to the top here. You may not need A, B, C, D, E. You, you may only need A, B, C uh, or something like that. Um, but that's basically what, what I'm looking for you to do uh, in this activity. 
And as always, uh, if you have any questions or problems, uh, please email me. Thanks for watching.